What's up peeps? Back with another furniture flip today and what I'm doing is I'm going to try to take this nightstand and I'm going to completely transform it in 24 hours or less. Can I make it happen? I don't know, you gotta stick with me, but first things first, let's capture the date and time, that way you know exactly when I'm getting started on this piece. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna work on this thing for 24 straight hours, that would be ridiculous and insane, and probably impossible in middle age. So, to make things fair on myself, I am gonna actually screen grab a timestamp. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna screen grab that at the end of every time I work on the piece and then I'll just add up the time spent at the end. And because I'm keeping track of time, I got started right away. Luckily this piece isn't too bad off, so I think it's the perfect one for this self-imposed challenge. I vacuumed, flipped it, vacuumed the underside, and tried to remove the drawers, to no avail. So I flipped it back over and cleaned. I'm using a microfiber rag, warm water, and dish soap to give this whole thing a solid scrubbing. And then I wiped the whole piece down with some warm water and a new rag to remove residue. I removed the hardware and I did hold on to it, but I'm not gonna be reusing it on this piece. And I added some tape to make sure that I can still open the drawers. Like I said, I'm not reusing this hardware and since I'm not putting anything on the bottom drawer, I filled those holes with wood filler. It only took a few minutes to apply it, but full transparency, I didn't keep track of how long it took for it to dry. But once it was dry, I got right to work finishing all the prep, starting by sanding the wood fill and wiping the dust. Then I used a 180 grit to scuff sand the entire nightstand. I vacuumed out the dust. Then I got the last of any dust or residue with a wet rag. And I want to give my mom a huge shout and a thanks for this neck wrap. It's called a Magical Kerchief and this thing basically saved me this summer. I used this along with the fan blowing air right on me. The time flew by and I was cool as a cucumber. I'll put all the info for this magical kerchief down in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself. I spent about 12 minutes and 28 seconds getting the plastic wrapped around the inside and the sides of the drawers. I wasn't planning on painting the inside, underside, or sides of the drawers, so I wanted to make sure that they were protected. Once they were, I gave the whole piece one coat of Melange's Stain Blocking Primer. I only did one coat, and it took me about 30 minutes, but uh, yeah, you're getting the high-speed version of that. After the primer dried for a couple hours, I started on the paint, and because this will be going in the cave, I'm using the same color as our other nightstand. This is the color khaki in Set Coat from Faux Effects. The color has a beautiful limey olive undertone that's a perfect complement to our super dark bedroom. 
I'll link to the bedroom makeover series below and at the end of this video, that way you can get caught up if you're new to my channel. And if you are new, hello, I'm Jen. We like to live in a cave around here because sleeping is way easier when there's zero light in your room. <laughs> I used a foam brush and a foam roller to get a super smooth finish. This paint self levels if it doesn't get overworked, and I also love this paint for using under faux finishes. I'm not sponsored and I don't get anything for recommending this brand, I've just been using them for years and love their performance. So if you want to check them out, I'll link to the site below. This coat took me about 30 minutes. Coat 2 went on a couple hours later, but I won't bore you with every second of footage. Let's just get the quick, quick, quick speed version. Yeah, because I am such a bad YouTuber, I forgot to screenshot that last one, but I saw it right before I turned it off and then went, oh no, <laughs> um, it was 2716. Time it took to wash the super bonding set coat off my hands, one minute, 28 seconds. And then I spent a few minutes washing out the brush and the roller completely. So I'm one of those people who like to clean everything as I go. That way my brushes never end up sitting overnight or even longer. Which makes me curious. Are you a clean as you go type like me or do you like to do a bunch of cleaning of all the stuff all at the same time? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I pulled the plastic off the drawers as soon as I was done washing stuff. Pulling tape right away will help to avoid the paint peeling up after the paint has cured over the tape. Then I made a few touch-ups and left everything to dry. I used a larger drill bit to add a countersink for the hardware. The new hardware that I plan to use on the top drawer has a slightly smaller, shorter, that is, screw than that original hardware. So this is gonna help that screw seat better and it'll be flush beneath the surface of the drawer. The only thing I had left to do after all of that was a coat of top coat. I'm using General Finishes Flat Out Flat, which is one of my favorite flat top coats. And I'm only doing one coat because set coat actually dries with an almost enamel finish, so this top coat is probably overkill to begin with, but this gets daily use, so I figured better safe than sorry.
Once I wrapped this, I could get the hardware installed. My final step was adding the hardware. I've had this knob in my stash for a while, just waiting for the perfect piece. Our bedroom is really dark. Like I said before, it's like a cave. On purpose. <laughs> so I wanted something a teeny bit feminine to give this some balance. And this hardware perfectly fit that bill. To finish this off and protect my floors from scratching, I added some sticky backed felt feet to the bottom of the legs. And with that done, I could finally place it, stage it, and finish this video with some beauty shots. Hang in, they're coming up in a few seconds. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think of this different style of video. I've been trying all kinds of different stuff these days, and I'd love to hear from all of you what you actually think. But that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Later, peeps! You didn't think I forgot to give you the final numbers, did you? Well, I definitely did. <laughs> anyway, here's how much time I ended up spending on this piece. Sure. 20, 20, whatever. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was 2716. You know what? I can go actually check that right now. Good enough.